Hi, welcome to WiseCat. So today we're going to have a quick look at how to uh, customize this navigation in the left hand side of Boost and Boost dependent themes. So if you're using Boost or Move, then you can actually change this, but you do require a uh, plugin to do such change. So if we go to the plugins database though, you will find that there is this one here, link in the uh, description below. But uh, this one here actually allows us to edit those uh, side uh, nodes in this area. So go ahead and install that. Um, I've actually already done mine, so I'll show you where to find the settings. So go into uh, Appearance in your site administration and down the bottom we can see a new section here, Boost Navigation Fumbling. Now it's important to note that in this uh, panel here on the left hand side there are actually three different types of navigation that appear here. There are root nodes, which are these ones here that uh, normally appear. You can have bottom nodes that just appear at the bottom underneath all the other nodes. And you can also have course nodes that only appear when you're on a course page. So for example, these participants and competencies and grades, this only appears on a course page. So in our navigation fumbling, if we go back again, appearance and scroll down, you can see that we have root nodes, course nodes, and then there's the option for custom bottom nodes, which are nodes that you can put at the very bottom. So the other ones as well, we have the option to remove certain root nodes that we might not be using or course nodes. So let's have a look at the root nodes and see what we can do. Here we have the option to remove the dashboard node or the home node the, as we might not be using them. So I don't use the calendar in this particular site, so I'm going to remove the calendar node. And also, hmm, my private files, I don't really want that node, even though I don't actually have it here. Yeah, because I've disabled it. But anyway, I can remove it a second way like this. Now, another one to remove might be the course content bank in uh, a course contents or non-course context. Now, I don't really need the content bank when I'm in a non-course context. I only want the content bank available when I'm in a course context. Uh, you can actually, uh, well, see the description there if you want to know more about that. Okay, so uh, if we go save to those, and you can see that our calendar, for example, has disappeared right there. Okay, so let's keep going back, and let's go and find uh, other ones. So that's removing root nodes. Uh, let's now go to, uh, well, I'm going to actually go back to site administration appearance and scroll down here. Now let's have a look at course notes. So let's say, for example, you don't use badges. If you don't use badges, you might want to get rid of that one. And you might not want the competencies node to be visible um, while you're editing the competencies or something like that. And you might not want the other uh, nodes, for example, like nodes for different sections. You might think that takes a lot of space up. Just let them scroll. Uh, why not? <laughs> you might also uh, want to insert course nodes that can be useful, like activities, where each activity, uh, quizzes or resources, etc., can be given their own little nodes as well. And anyway, I'm just going to save that. And if we go back now and have a look, we can see very little has changed here because I didn't actually have those nodes visible to begin with. Anyway, uh, if we go back again, we can also add our uh, specific nodes that we might want. So this is done using custom nodes. So an example for a custom node that might be really useful is you might have found that, uh, well, this is the problem. You go into a course and what you want to do is you want to edit the questions for your question bank for your next quiz. But to do that, you have to click on the gear icon. You have to go down to click on more, and then you have to go scroll down to easy question bank, and then you have to find the questions, categories, import, export, and then you can finally click on questions, and this gets you finally to your question bank. Wouldn't it be easier if there was just a, a course node that allowed you to just click and get there? Well, we can make one of those. So we go site administration, 
courses, uh, uh, sorry, not courses, appearance and custom course nodes. And in here we have a couple of options. One is to insert custom course nodes for all users. And here the formatting, there are examples of the formatting as well, but it's a bunch of uh, pieces of information follow, surrounded by these uh, pipe characters. So I've actually pre-made one of these and I've also made it bilingual. So I shall copy that and paste it into my box right here. Here we go. So what this does is this actually puts the label of the node is going to be question bank and it's going to link to, so the next one is the URL is question edit PHP uh, question mark course ID. So this is a get variable and it's going to say that the course ID should be um, this one in curly braces means whatever the course that we're in that course ID should be here, which is uh, what you're going to need for this particular link to work. This should appear only when the language is English and should appear for e editing teachers, admins or managers. And it's an or statement here, so these don't have to be and. You can have and or or on these booleans. Uh, it should have an icon, a font awesome icon, which should be the pencil. And we're going to give it a, a, a name QBank so that if we want to format it later using CSS, it's going to be easier to figure out which selector we should use. And we made a duplicate of that, which is exactly the same, except the language is Japanese. And so Monday Bank should appear instead of Question Bank. Keep it nice and bilingual. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. And you do have the option to insert custom nodes just for admins, but uh, we won't do that right now. Uh, let's scroll all the way down and save changes. And if we look at our uh, bank here, we can see nothing has changed. And you might think it's broken. No, it's not. We're not on a course page at the moment. So we have to actually go into my new course and then we can see that here there is the question bank link. When I click on it, it takes me to the question bank for that course. So that's pretty useful. Okay, so the other thing that you can do is as an administrator, you might find, okay, I uh, could use some additional bottom nodes for the admin. So let's do that next. We'll go appearance. We'll go down here to custom bottom nodes and we might add some uh, bottom nodes for all users. No, we don't want these for all users. These are for our admin. So we're going to scroll down to the uh, custom bottom nodes for admins. And the reason why we're going to do this is because the actual nodes I'm going to create here are browse users, cohorts, and upload users, which are sorts of tools that an admin might use fairly frequently and might want quick and easy access to. So I'm just going to add these for admins. Only admins will be able to see it, but all admins will be able to see it. So that's uh, rather useful. Help out my fellow admins as well. So if I save changes on that, now I've got my options to browse users, cohorts, and upload users. And that's a root a node it's on the on the root page so this will appear on every single page in the Moodle from now on site home there it is a dashboard there it is a new course there it is and our question bank one being a course node is also there also if you go into different areas of the course because this is a course context thing as long as you're in a course, it doesn't matter if you're in a course and in a database page or something, you still have that link to the question bank is there. Okay, so with that, the sky is basically the limit. You can go in and you can change uh, whatever you don't like about it. Uh, if you don't like something about uh, Moodle, uh, the, the navigation, then you can get rid of it. So um, actually, I'm going to remove that course node sections. And I'm just going to save changes. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that now. See if that tidies it up a bit. Um, oh no, I've still got this these sections here. Ooh, okay. I might actually fiddle with it a bit more off camera and tidy it up in time for the next video. So thank you very much. I hope this has been useful and uh, I'll talk to you again sometime soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.